Okay, it's time to begin again. Uh, the, this session is uh, one of a special session, uh, the pandemic uh, seconds, uh, pandemic challenge and country uh, diversity. So the moderator, uh, uh, my name is Chungmin Yu, Korea in Korea. And, and also I, we have the co-moderator, Dr. Jung Hyop Lee. Uh, who is uh, uh, living in Thailand right now. Uh, he work on competitiveness units. So can you say something, Dr. Lee? Hey, I'm pleased to uh, moderate uh, the session uh, with uh, Dr. Yu and uh, we'll be joining uh, at the discussion se se session later. Thank you. Okay. So uh, actually, uh, the most of um, uh, we have the full uh, presentation on the website. I think uh, you already uh, watching the presentation. So uh, in this time, we just discuss about uh, the presentation because uh, we already have the full uh, uh, present here. So. Uh, we can just uh, uh, organize like uh, uh, the four presentation and the first two presentation will be given by the, some comment from uh, Dr. Lee. Then we also have the, some discussion uh, about the uh, third and fourth presentation. Uh, so uh, let's get started from the first and second uh, presentation. Uh, please, Dr. Lee, can you give some comment about that? After we hear the presentation. Uh... Uh, actually, uh, we already, the full presentation is uh, on the web. So, uh, so the organizer we'll asked me about the, uh, just, uh, I mean, we, we don't need to watch it again about the, uh, the YouTube. So uh, just we can discuss about the presentation. So uh, it's, it's kind uh, of a save time and then we have the more time to discuss. Okay, uh, very good. And, okay. uh, uh, but uh, I didn't watch the third video. <laughs> <laughs> <of the presentation. laughs> so, I think you must <laughs> all, almost understand, it. yeah. Uh, without having knowledge of our third presentation, we shall discuss uh, based on uh, Professor uh, Park's comments later. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, the, uh, I, I'm uh, pleased to uh, give a comments uh, or some further research questions for first two presentations. And uh, for the first presentation on the uh, quarantine systems performance, uh, and uh, at the beginning of the presentation, I thought uh, it, it, it's uh, the quarantine system of COVID-19. But later I, I learned that uh, the quarantine system uh, is the vegetable uh, quarantine. And uh, I, uh, after I heard the uh, first presentation, uh, I, I, I uh, thought uh, that uh, whether uh, the researchers uh, can uh, provide a certain uh, explanation uh, uh, about the performance of, of Korean system. We understand that uh, the quarantine uh, is very necessary for uh, vegetable or agriculture protection, and then it has uh, economic uh, benefits for, for the country. Uh, but uh, uh, we need more information uh, whether uh, we should increase uh, the quarantine intensity or decrease uh, the quarantine uh, uh, intensity. Uh, and also, uh, we may uh, know, uh, want to know uh, whether uh, there is a uniqueness of Korean uh, uh, economic system uh, which is embedded in Korean quarantine. Uh, similar uh, to my understanding, uh, we can say that quarantine is a kind of continuum, uh, fully closed, 
uh, to uh, fully open. Uh, then uh, when uh, considering a Korean uh, economic system is uh, open system, then uh, uh, what is the very balanced approach for quarantine between these uh, two extreme closed and, and uh, openness? So uh, uh, similarly, uh, 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 I want to know whether uh, the research uh, can uh, investigate uh, the performance of the current uh, quarantine uh, system for during the COVID-19. And in the beginning of uh, the pandemic, uh, there uh, has been hot debates uh, among uh, Korean experts that uh, Korean uh, system should close against uh, Chinese, but government decide to continue to have open policy. So the foreigners, uh, including Chinese people uh, came uh, to Korea. So, uh, uh, Korean government uh, uh, continue to open, uh, have open policy. And so uh, uh, it was criticized by a few uh, uh, people. So uh, as we uh, understand, uh, if we uh, use uh, the research and methodology to uh, evaluate uh, the performance of Korean uh, quarantine system and what is the balance uh, between this closeness and uh, openness. Uh, that is uh, 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 comments or further research topics uh, for the first presentation. And uh, the second uh, presentation and, uh, and the uh, Mr. Park uh, in uh, his presentation described uh, the current COVID-19 uh, trade pattern uh, shot by the pandemic is uh, the impact is very uh, Compared to uh, 2009 uh, global financial turbulence, uh, the impact uh, was uh, uh, deeper and uh, widely affected, and, and the impact was uh, very sharp. So uh, deep and wide and and and, and very fast uh, affected. So uh, after uh, your description about uh, COVID-19 trade pattern. Uh, you uh, uh, longitudinally uh, analyze uh, 10 export and 10 uh, top uh, 10 uh, import items and uh, growth or uh, decline. And, but uh, uh, compared to the global uh, COVID-19 uh, trade pattern, uh, is there any uniqueness of Korea? Uh, and uh, what is... Uh, 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 different uh, phenomena, uh, Korean uh, system uh, has demonstrated uh, during uh, the pandemic. Uh, that is my uh, first question. And uh, secondly, uh, we, uh, as you uh, compared the current uh, COVID-19 pandemic trade pattern uh, with uh, 2009 uh, global financial uh, crisis pattern, then uh, what uh, is uh, different uh, between uh, these two, uh, not only about uh, the intensity, uh, but also there is a certain uh, unique uh, pattern which can be explained further. And uh, for, uh, from my, uh, my uh, observation, uh, the 2009, the financial uh, turbulence uh, is triggered uh, by the finance sector. And, uh, and then uh, it uh, has uh, affected uh, the consumer market. And then later, it, uh, uh, the, uh, because the market is shrinking, then uh, manufacturing or service activities also shrink. Then uh, this has impacted on the finance sector so they, uh, uh, it has a, a vicious circle, uh, relative, but uh, the COVID-19 uh, started uh, from uh, the human uh, factors, uh, which was affected by virus. Then uh, the, uh, it uh, has uh, doubly uh, uh, concurrently affected manufacturing and service provision uh, side at the same time uh, market shrinking. 
because of lockdown. So, uh, uh, so that uh, the uh, economic system uh, collapsed uh, doubly, and then uh, it uh, has negative impact on the uh, market, uh, the buying power of the consumers uh, decreased. So, so that uh, it has uh, more uh, uh, better uh, 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 bigger uh, negative impact on, on the economy. So that is uh, what uh, I uh, think. Then uh, how your uh, the uh, econometrics or the, the uh, longitudinal uh, pattern uh, can uh, reveal the uniqueness of Korean system against uh, the, the global uh, uh, trade pattern and also what is uh, the difference from the 2009 uh, financial uh, turbulence uh, uh, of this uh, COVID-19 uh, challenges. Uh, these are my comments for the uh, first two presentations. Yeah, thank, thank you so much for the, your comments. Uh, maybe it's, uh, I mean, um, I'm a scientist actually, it's not familiar with this kind of conference. I'm always working on the experiment based on the, the conference. So uh, I'm really sorry about uh, it's not uh, organized very well. I think it's better to, I realize uh, as uh, Dr. Lee already mentioned, uh, most of people uh, did not watch it, uh, this full presentation. So uh, let me suggest to for uh, I mean present about uh, if possible uh, each present give some short summarization of the uh, each person's then uh, give some comment or give the answer that is a more uh, I mean efficient uh, discussion. So if you all agree, so uh, from Dr. Son, uh, can you summarize uh, just uh, like a couple of minutes, like a within five minutes to summarize your presentation? And uh, if you have any comments or any, any other question, please, you can also say about that, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, today, my presentation is uh, uh, I, I want to some guide or a uh, good example to uh, how to measure the value of the quarantine systems for next policies. So uh, this presentation is uh, not human, human life. Uh, uh, quarantine. Uh, so you mentioned Dr. Lee, uh, and but uh, this is uh, uh, important issues uh, to uh, how to measure the quarantine system for next policies uh, uh, close or open. So uh, this uh, study uh, object is uh, uh, Three, three. First is uh, to analyze the agriculture policy related to the quarantine system. Uh, and second is to evaluate the uh, Korea plant quarantine systems. And last is uh, to simulate the plant quarantine policy. And so we uh, estimate the uh, Korea quarantine systems uh, direct and indirect benefits uh, with uh, Markov chain model and CV contingent valuation method. So, uh, uh, so this study can uh, drive uh, policy implications on quarantine system uh, innovation in uh, developing countries and our countries and the other con uh, next countries, more Japan or China, so including Asia. Uh, so 
I think uh, just uh, some gui guidance uh, for quarantine system, uh, how to quarantine system strengths or uh, rearrangement. So uh, uh, this is my presentation summary and uh, my reply for Dr. Lee's comments is first is uh, uh, personally I think uh, that uh, open policy for uh, disease or is better than to close policies uh, because uh, uh, quarantine issues is uh, very, very complicated issues uh, 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 may, may, maybe a block the uh, photo or airport is the affected to the uh, personal behavior and the industry or economical issues. So, uh, many people is becoming uh, more and more exhausted uh, for uh, strength quarantine policies, but uh, we understand the strength quarantine uh, policies is, uh, uh, is important to the protect uh, our health and economy. So, uh, for example, this is, uh, this re research result is good uh, result uh, for uh, plant disease, good uh, uh, Korean plant quarantine systems to protect uh, food uh, related to the plant. So, uh, but uh, uh, you mentioned uh, the people life, uh, uh, life value of uh, some people health uh, is uh, to measure is very, very uh, complicated issues. Uh, generally, uh, the life value is bigger or larger than the food or uh, industry. Uh, so I need to more research about the uh, life issues for disease or current systems. And if I have some grant these issues and I will touch the these issues and the moral and research. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for a uh, nice explanation. And uh, next, uh, uh, Dr. Park, uh, can you give me uh, some uh, important point to your presentation? And also you can give the answer uh, for the Dr. Rhee's uh, question and comments, please. All right, thank you so much. Uh, hi everyone, um, uh, I'm Changjung Park and uh, the, the summary of my, my presentation is that, uh, uh, as you know, that the, the, the COVID-19 the recession is, uh, is the deepest uh, recession after, uh, since the World War II. It, it is evaluated as when the, with the per capita GDP growth rate, it is uh, bigger than uh, compared, to, it, it is bigger than the recent the recession, 2009 recessions. It is uh, the COVID 19 recessions is the per capita GDP is declined. Uh, to, wait, wait a minute. Mm. It's declined at uh, 4.6%. Uh, but it is 2009 uh, recessions is 2.9% uh, decreased. 
in, in per capita uh, annual per capita GDP. So it is the 2020 the COVID-19 recessions is defeated about 1.6 times to compare to 2009 the global recessions and also so in these situations uh, I wanted to know how the Korea the trade uh, affected by uh, this the COVID-19 recessions so uh, we collected data from Korea the custom service uh, they provided the uh, each uh, by items the important export data so it is start from 2000 to 2020 so uh, I collected from the by items the HS code four digit levels uh, so I collected from the import and export uh, trade values so and then compare uh, the the each items the performance how to different from compared to 2009 the recession period and the 2020 the recession period but, but however we did not uh, deeply analyze what's the difference and uh, the what is that the, the reason these situations but just uh, briefly uh, the show from 2000 2000 to 2020 the trade patterns and just uh, look at what's the difference this during two periods so and the in in the region uh as you know in, in 2009 the global the financial crisis it is start from the financial sectors and then this effect uh, affect to the physical uh, real market so demand is decreased so the in in this case all most of the the, the export uh, international trade are uh, linked in korea but as you know the when i selected top 10 items by export and import uh, almost almost all at uh, almost items the the values are decreased Decrease, but in case of the export, the ship construction sector it is uh, increased. But maybe that is that uh, affected by that in that period that the world market, the ship, the market it is the expand, expanded. So the Korean the ship construction sector also increased in their export. So maybe that is the I think the one regions. But in case of uh, 2020s, as you know, the most of countries uh, in developed countries they they had to stop their economic activities, uh, the lockdown, to control the COVID-19 the spread. But however, in Korea, uh, the government did not uh, shut uh, shut down a uh, lockdown that the economic activities just reduced. We just control that the, in the human activity, the social human activity. So we can, uh, we can, we can, we can do our the economic activity, not the normal situations. But so this is this the government the difference of government policy have affected to the in the market. So also in the world. Uh, the world sup the supply chain also has affected, but uh, in Korea we can uh, do the economic activity. So some items, the export and import are uh, or uh, a little bit show different the patterns compared to the previous the 2009 global recessions. So that is the in in case of the export, uh, most of them is related the semiconductor production and uh, the motor vehicles and also some is the machine part so in that the items they they the export and import are uh, a little bit increased compared to the 2009 the recession so so i think so therefore my uh, conclusion is that the 
in in case of Korea, we do not lock down our the economic activities. So, so that we can the some the, the important role in the, the world supply chain. So our the economy the, do not seriously affected by the COVID nineteen shocks. So we can do our the activity the, our economic activity the successfully then so now in 2021 the our the, the Korea the export is the dramatically increased so it may be the the monthly monthly of the performance is the top length compared to the, the previous the period so that is the it is important to the in the government the role to how to control the the disease that so we we do not lock down our the economy so we can we can recover the quickly and successfully uh, during this uh, hard time so this is the end of my uh, summary and answer for the comments thanks so much yeah thanks for uh, uh, kind uh, explanation so uh, now I think uh, the among uh, two presentation uh, if you guys have any uh, additional question or comments uh, please uh, uh, feel free to ask it. Uh, do you have anything about that? Can uh, I can I ask one thing? Yes, uh, I may. Uh, uh, add, oh yeah. uh, for first presentation, I I understand uh, clearly uh, what uh, the uh, the authors uh, want to deliver, and we uh, I fully understand that the. Uh, uh, quarantine system uh, is uh, economy has great economic value, uh, not only for uh, the people uh, but also for the whole uh, uh, system and agriculture industry. Uh, the, uh, and uh, because of that, uh, you mentioned that uh, uh, it has a certain uh, policy implications for developing countries. Uh, but as we as we travel uh, across the world. Uh, then every country adopts the uh, quarantine policy. And so uh, we don't have any doubt that uh, each country uh, should have this kind of quarantine. But the question is, uh, what kind of intensity of quarantine uh, should have? That is the key. So uh, the Korean system is an open economic system. So we should rely on uh, export and import market. So we should open uh, and, and then uh, we should uh, adopt a strict quarantine system uh, to protect uh, the Korean uh, industry. Uh, and uh, here that uh, from uh, your further uh, research that uh, can we uh, uh, judge uh, how uh, how strongly uh, we uh, apply uh, this uh, quarantine system? Uh, that is uh, the key. And also, uh, it, it it was uh, very interesting for me uh, to see from uh, your research that uh, the uh, you have a quantitative uh, a value of the quarantine system uh, from uh, the. Uh, qualitative uh, questionnaire survey uh, among uh, the stakeholders. Uh, I'm interested in uh, uh, how to uh, 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 capture the economic value uh, from uh, the questionnaire survey. So that is my uh, question. Yeah, uh, thank you for your question, uh, comment. Uh, and our first uh, comment is, uh, I agree to uh, need uh, separately uh, strategies for uh, the other uh, developing countries. Uh, I understand. Uh, and, but uh, 
just uh, this result is uh, just uh, so many restrictions. Uh, we control the supply side and uh, except uh, demand side. So, and some price less stick issues and uh, so many uh, uh, so so many restrictions. So uh, just uh, uh, this result is uh, some guide to pro protect and strengthen uh, quarantine systems. Uh, and so more. anyway, uh, your comment is very important issues and I will handle uh, to uh, extend uh, my research uh, related to the, your comment. And our last question uh, is uh, C uh, CVM. Uh, uh, yes, you mentioned I uh, uh, we uh, control the quantitative research and qualitative research. Uh, quantitative is uh, Markov chain, uh, uh, the some uh, econometric uh, with Markov chain, and qualitative method is uh, contingent valuation method. Uh, this is a uh, uh, based on uh, survey, uh, 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 we uh, have we uh, designed the survey questionnaire uh, about the uh, uh, situation under the uh, affected food uh, uh, is abroad in our food. Food chains uh, and, and let let you know the some contents uh, in questionnaire in uh, my slide and and I use the uh, uh, coding the respondents of uh, and uh, main key point is the. Uh, willingness to pay. Uh, this is a price uh, of uh, to pay my uh, protect my health and uh, uh, protect my health uh, for uh, spending some food, uh, health food, and strengthen my health uh, to. How, how many to pay strengths my health uh, uh, after uh, protecting some disease uh, our uh, with Korea current systems. So uh, this is a uh, dichotomous issues. Uh, uh, so so uh, complicated in, uh, I explain in these situations to complicate. So uh, you, I, cons uh, I, I think uh, you uh, need to some uh, research uh, CVM uh, method. So, uh, so many uh, results about uh, these issues, uh, uh, especially uh, life, life value. So VSL, uh, and more. I uh, some more information is I I will provide to you uh, by email some uh, more informations. Thank you. Thank you. You have any? Have yeah, uh, I have a question uh, for the Dr. Parks. Uh, actually, I'm not an expert on economy or in your research field, but I'm just a uh, just basic question about your presentation. Uh, we are talking about uh, uh, resilience, uh, which means will be recovery after uh, the occurrence of the COVID-19. So uh, you already mentioned about the economic crisis in uh, 2009. And compared to that uh, era, and what do you think about uh, our future? 
because uh, COVID-19 is a very sudden effect on the economy. It just uh, uh, began last, early last year, then continuing until now. So it, it can be maybe if we, we are lucky, we will be end uh, maybe early next year. So uh, what do you think in, uh, in the view of uh, uh, whole round world, uh, the world economy will be recovery very sharply or not? Or how about in, in Korean economic condition? So what do you think about that? Okay, uh, it, it is not an easy uh, answer to your question, but as you know, the, in, in case of 2009, the recessions, the finance, the, the effect of financial sector is uh, uh, affected to that in demand side, usually demand side in the economy. So then the, so then the, the productions will decrease but however, in, in, the, in the current uh, COVID-19 recessions, is, it is different. It is affected both the demand and production together. So then the world economies are shrink sharply uh, compared to the, the 2009. In case of 2009, that the production, uh, they, they, they can do their the productions, but the, the, the declining, the, due to the declining the demand, so the production also the the replied that that and they 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 have to decrease their productions. But in the current si the systems that the most of the, the uh, many countries, uh, in, including that the EU, the Euro EU, or the many the developed countries, they. Uh, they rock down their economic activity to control the, the disease. However, in Korea, we also the we also that the protect the, the human activities. But in in case in the in the we did not the rock down the all the activities, so we can do our the economic activities. So uh, so therefore. In, in case of Korea, the, due to the, the government policy, uh, we can do our economic activity. So it, we can quickly the, the rebound from the, the in, in economic the performance. So as you see, uh, we can get better from the, the end of 2020. And then the, in, in current, uh, in 2021, our the activity or we our economy the rebounded the quickly so that the, the export is increased the dramatically so so in, in my opinion I the first personally I can do uh, get better the Korean economy the performance uh, Korea economy will uh, rebound it from the, the shock and, but the world economy, uh, it is not easy, but now the, the, our, the vaccine spread. So the, all, many the European countries and the USA also have doing their economic activity not the, in 2021. So maybe it, it will recover. I, I, recovered in maybe ne maybe from now and then next year. So, so that is my answer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, um, to Dr. Son and Dr. Park. Um, actually, uh, an interesting point uh, based on the, your two research, um, I found that um, the CBM approach and the quarantine um, uh, re regarding the, uh, the, the disease may be associated with the human body disease. Then the uh, Dr. Park's approach regarding the trade pattern analysis may be associated because if we do shut down our, our border, 
then they may be associated with your, your the Dr. Son's uh, CVM approach. Then can ask uh, we can ask the people that if we shut down our our border, then um, how much do you want to um, the 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 endure that cost? Perhaps this is exactly the same as we do now as a lockdown system, we, because we strict uh, restrict our the the going our the uh, restaurant usage, and the number of persons are currently uh, uh, regulated, such so, so like this. So perhaps this can affect uh, the our economic system by applying your CBM approach then that will be associated with demand side impacts as Dr. Park did. And that will affect the trade pattern change because import for the, uh, to be used in our economy, maybe uh, the, the, the restricted. And even we didn't do shut down our borders, but perhaps the export case, we also may, be, uh, may affect to control our economic system. So my, my question is here that, Dr. Son, how do you uh, expect that kind of CBM approach application to the current economic uh, the situation as we do lockdown? Not we, we didn't actually lockdown, but um, the like uh, restrictions in use uh, the using uh, the the restaurants or or the regulations on on the on on uh, the international trap travel travel. Or such like that. So, what kind of your the the? Well, I'm, I'm not asking you answers, but um, the, your thoughts <laughs> regarding the your your application of CBM, and also Dr. Park. Uh, you, this is really important. The um, the the suggestion that the uh, your observation on 2009 is more focusing on demand side impact. So the pro, the supply side is still maintained at the time. Which uh, quickly uh, the, uh, contributed to the recovery of the economy. However, the current um, the, uh, the the disease like uh, COVID nineteen affected the both because of the the, the United States lockdown or the uh, the shutdown of the Australia, such like this. So they affected both the uh, supply and the uh, demand side, and that would be totally different. And that findings are really really interesting. I think. But in Korea case, we didn't do that. We just try to maintain. So my, my question is that you, even though you mentioned about the global economy, uh, the situation in the future, however, if we consider the our Korean case, like trade pattern change the current, but if you apply that kind of same concept to the United States or the, to other the EU countries regarding the trade pattern change, do you think there would be a different uh, the the outcome may may uh, stemming from your the approach? So just uh, my question is uh, that, that those things both to you. <laughs> not easy. <laughs> yeah, not easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, thank you for <laughs> your suggestion. Uh, but uh, actually, uh, CBM is uh, very, very uh, difficult uh, to design the survey uh, because uh, 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 survey uh, uh, provide uh, uh, exactly uh, uh, mutually uh, situations to the respondents pundit. So uh, survey design is so many efforts uh, to give the many efforts uh, to uh, design survey. So, and uh, uh, generally we design several times uh, to uh, uh, rust survey. So, uh, anyway, uh, and, uh, and, uh, some issues, uh, are important, uh, to accept price or pay price. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, uh, under pandemic situation is, uh, uh, 
uh, we uh, try to study uh, 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 regulation uh, policy or uh, regulation uh, situations to how uh, how to me measure uh, this uh, pay some uh, some uh, how, how to measure uh, people how many to pay uh, these policies and situations. So um, anyway, uh, I will keep in touch this issue issues for future research. And thank you for your suggestions. Dr. Park, do you have any comments? Oh, yes. Uh... Uh, in this time, I just uh, collect the trade international trade data of Korea. But uh, if I can get the other developed countries, for example, the USA or the Canada or the other the EU countries, then we can compare how these the 2020 COVID-19 recessions are affected the the whole the world economy the supply chain or the in, in in more the diversity we can analyze the how this the recession affected to world economy so I think it, it will be a the good uh, good chance to I could good the future research topic so so if uh, as a next step uh, I can collect the trade data from uh, other countries, then compare the totally how the, this 2000, uh, the COVID-19 recession affected the world economy. So then uh, at that time, and, and then it, it could provide the interesting uh, insight for understanding these uh, COVID-19 uh, recessions. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Uh, I believe is we had really deep discussion about the first two presentation. I mean, two speakers is really uh, give the great answers about that. So we have another two very interesting uh, talks. So we, uh, I'd like to uh, um, talk about the last two uh, presentation. Our third presentation is, uh, uh, Embed uh, impediment to driving smart cities and COVID-19, uh, who is uh, given talk by uh, Dr. In Jung Kim, right? Okay, so she'll give just a brief uh, summarization and give some any comments, uh, please. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, thank you for having me here today. Uh, my study is about, uh, is a case study of South Korea. It's a, and the title is Impediments to Driving Smart Cities and COVID-19. Um, COVID-19 changed our lives. Uh, and um, it, it makes people rethink about um, urban spaces. Before COVID-19, people um, gather in the same place and I mean the city and people work, live in the place. And amid of COVID-19, um, it is easy to witness there are so many conflicts because of the pop urban population density. And uh, um, I believe smart city will be a means of or new normal. To, um, uh, but however, I think a smart city is not, um, sorry. Relax, that's okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's my first time. Um, um, yeah, smart city is a means for new normal. Uh, however, smart 
uh, it is not easy to carry out the smart city. So to figure out the reason why or what impedes to driving smart city, I conducted uh, focus group interviews with um, uh, six professionals in the field of smart cities in Korea. Um, and uh, I have, um, and I have 13 impediments, I mean, the factors to obstacle um, the smart cities. So, and uh, it is in four fields, technology, industry, government and the society. So um, um, in the technology, the impediments are the gap between smart technology and services and privacy and security and the lack of data accuracy. So, um, and uh, second, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Two. Um, secondly, in industry, there are four impediments, a non-innovative project ordering system, large and or platform company oriented industrial structure, public led um, smart service provision, and um, lack of continuous supply of services. Um, three, in government, there are, there are three impediments, lack of organization system and capacity, insufficient system for promoting and spreading smart cities, and rigidity of budgeting and business operation. And lastly, in society, um, there are three impediments in active citizen participation, digital device, and the increased conflict with the existing industries. Um, I didn't put, um, I didn't write the, this opinion um, in the paper, but I believe these impediments would, uh, is happening because of the three characteristics of a policy in Korea. Um, Performance-based policy, eff effectiveness-oriented policy, and the less understanding of the technology ecosystem. So um, this, is um, this is important because uh, there are so many studies focused on uh, in specific fields such as technology or policy or something like that. But as we all know, uh, urban space, I mean, the city is not just a simple, simple um, structure or something. It's a very organic and complicated place. So um, I just uh, tried to um, analyze the impediments comprehensively. So um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all. OK, uh, thank you. So I, I think it's better to Dr. Lee's uh, summarization of the, your uh, presentation, and then we can uh, discuss more about uh, in detail. Is it okay, Dr. Lee? Uh, what can I hear you? Uh, okay. okay. Uh, uh, it is my presentation uh, uh, is based on uh, my paper uh, which was submitted to Inter-American Development Bank. Uh, in the beginning, uh, the Latin American countries uh, wanted to know how Korea continued to produce and develop and produce and the pandemic uh, solutions. And uh, while the Korean government uh, has uh, successfully controlled the virus, and so uh, with uh, this request, uh, I have a. It was uh, uh, done for a couple of months, uh, last year from uh, July until uh, September or uh, October, and then uh, it uh, was delivered to Lat Latin American uh, countries, uh, officials, and uh, other experts uh, for two times. And uh, because of that, uh, the 
uh, my uh, presentation uh, uh, has started from uh, the questions from the first two presentations uh, of this session. And uh, it is related uh, with the, uh, how, how Korea can uh, sustainably uh, continue to have open policy uh, with this kind of quarantine system. But here the quarantine system is not uh, the uh, entrance uh, quarantine in harbor or airport, but uh, uh, we have a, the nationwide and the quarantine, uh, which is so-called uh, 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 test, trace, and, and treatment. Uh, and, uh, and at the same time, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Korean uh, system uh, in the beginning uh, has uh, very quickly uh, developed uh, the test kit and then uh, which uh, become a global uh, solution uh, to control the virus uh, in the beginning of pandemic. And later uh, the KF uh, series masks uh, were also uh, popularized uh, among global society. So uh, the developing countries, including Latin America, uh, American countries, they wanted to know uh, the secret uh, of the uh, the Korean success in the beginning. And with this, the Korea has shown a relatively uh, a strong uh, economic performance, uh, which was uh, also presented by uh, uh, Mr. Park uh, at the second presentation. And uh, I have a comprehensively reviewed uh, the articles or uh, papers or government uh, uh, policy papers uh, at that time. Then uh, the key issue uh, to control uh, the virus was the institutional arrangement, uh, which was uh, triggered and uh, prepared by uh, 2015 uh, MERS challenge. And Korean government was, uh, uh, after Korean whole system was hit by the MERS uh, virus and the uh, uh, those institutional arrangement and also organizational arrangement when uh, we have the virus, uh, how government uh, uh, should work uh, with uh, public and private stakeholders uh, to control the virus. And uh, it was uh, relatively uh, well implemented uh, during uh, the COVID, uh, uh, early stage of COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, one of the success uh, uh, ach achievement was the quick uh, uh, development of the diagnosis uh, kits. Uh, and, and then uh, the, the uh, medical system uh, managed uh, or treated uh, the affected people. And then uh, the production and innovation system of companies a research institute and universities uh, has continuously uh, developed and produced the relevant solutions uh, and products to address uh, the pandemic. And so while uh, we are containing the virus and then and the system uh, can be functioning uh, to continuously to produce uh, the products. And this is the reason uh, of the uh, economic, uh, relatively strong economic uh, performance uh, of Korea. And, and the early success of the Korean system uh, was partially inherited from the previous success of uh, collective system in Korea, uh, which was uh, motivated more stakeholders to join and the synergistic process to upgrade system and then uh, lastly, I have reviewed uh, the six uh, regulation uh, issues. Uh, the first three are related to uh, supply side and like a, a certificate uh, or the personal information, uh, privacy uh, and uh, patent. And the other three are demand side and uh, government procurement market, uh, which was used to purchase uh, KF series mask from the uh, private uh, uh, sectors. And also uh, the uh, national insurance system, uh, which is different from the UK or Italy system, 
uh, we called uh, national uh, health service system. Uh, the UK and uh, Italy system is uh, national health insurance system. So uh, with this system, uh, the private sector's quick response to the ch uh, challenge uh, could be utilized to address and the challenge. And lastly, uh, the, uh, the long-term uh, demand creation uh, by basic income or uh, basic insurance and those kind of uh, debates uh, were uh, facilitated among uh, the Korean experts. And uh, with this, uh, the uh, regulatory uh, adjustment process, the Korea could uh, continue to uh, progress uh, on, uh, during uh, the pandemic. That was uh, my observation uh, from uh, the comprehensive review of relevant uh, uh, articles. So uh, one thing I want to uh, the, uh, uh, emphasize is that the, before the pandemic, the Korean people, especially uh, young people, uh, hated uh, Korea very much. We call uh, the, they called Korea as a hell Joseon. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, just a, a couple of months later, after Korea was hit by the pandemic, and uh, the people's uh, attitude changes uh, toward uh, the government, and uh, they are living in uh, quite a good uh, uh, society, and the system uh, is strong. So uh, I learned that. The pe even people's attitude uh, can be changed uh, through this kind of uh, collective efforts to overcome uh, the challenges. And then uh, I believe these are the important uh, implications for developing countries, and uh, especially most uh, Latin American countries, uh, they don't believe government, and uh, they uh, do not trust uh, the public authority and to play something for the people. But uh, if uh, we have a certain uh, success cases, uh, even in the uh, developing country context, then uh, even people's attitude can be changed and this trigger the system transformation uh, in their countries. And that is what uh, I uh, learned uh, from the study, uh, which can be delivered to uh, developing countries. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, it's, it's really, I mean, deeply impressed uh, Dr. Ray's comment, actually, because uh, I served the Center of Infection Disease Research Center in Crips. Uh, we struggled uh, COVID-19 more than two, uh, more than one years. So we felt a lot of the uh, feeling about the, uh, the fighting uh, COVID-19, and uh, because we are mostly working on the developing vaccine, um, diagnostic device, and uh, uh, therapeutic treatments. But we also think of uh, uh, watching the really big picture, like you mentioned before. So uh, I'm, I'm also really interested in the, uh, what's going on, we are where we are, and we are, we are where we're we going to. So that is really important question about that. So your article is really a great uh, view uh, about the uh, uh, past one and a half years. So I really want to read your article if you published it, I think. Uh, I think uh, yours, you also mentioned about uh, the young generation's attitude. So yeah, you're right. I mean, young people don't like Korean before COVID-19. Uh, after that, uh, I didn't think about much about that, but uh, I, I also think uh, maybe it's a young generation realize the uh, other countries in the are uh, not very good. So which means is uh, Korea is bad, but worse in other countries. So which means uh, I mean. And, I mean, Korea is one of the hell, but uh, I know the rest of the I mean, countries are also not the hell. So that means is uh, everybody is everywhere is not very uh, worse than uh, Korea. 
which means it creates a, a little bit better than other place. So anyway, uh, just kidding. And uh, let me ask one, uh, one question uh, for the Dr. Ray's presentation. So uh, I, mean, I, I agree most of, most of your uh, explanation. I mean, and, and also I'm raising one of the issue about the, uh, in Korean government uh, dealing with the COVID-19 very well, I agree, but uh, uh, we also missed a lot of things. So especially in early stages in last year, so we did not block uh, country border like uh, China because uh, in China uh, was initiated, I mean, the COVID-19 was initiated in China, then we did not block the border. So I think this is one of the biggest problems. So rapidly spread of the COVID-19 in scientifically. So like that is, uh, do you think uh, we, any mistake or any pitfall of the, the management of the COVID-19 in Korean government? Do we have any uh, idea? Uh, actually, uh, that, uh, that was uh, my question uh, to uh, Dr. Son at the first presentation, uh, as he uh, demonstrated the economic value of the quarantine system. Uh, so the, the basic idea is uh, Korea is open system, uh, which cannot be closed and continue to have open policy, not uh, close down uh, national board uh, to uh, continue to have a economic activity toward global market. Then and the quarantine system is the key tool to uh, uh, continue uh, the economic performance. So that is the uh, basic principle of uh, Korean government management. So, uh, uh, so that, that, that's why I asked him to, uh, 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 to use his methodology to evaluate the economic value of the quarantine system uh, in uh, COVID-19, whether it is possible, but uh, his uh, uh, response is a little bit negative because the COVID-19 quarantine system is more complicated than vegetable quarantine system. That is, uh, uh, so this is, uh, and uh, I, uh, I, I also uh, touched some part of that, uh, whether uh, to open uh, the, the uh, which is better to uh, close a national ball or uh, continue to open uh, the, um, but if uh, uh, in the beginning uh, of the uh, pandemic, uh, the globally, uh, we, had, we had only four countries uh, which uh, successfully controlled the virus. And they are Australia, New Zealand, and uh, the Israel, and, 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 and South Korea. Uh, oh no, Taiwan, uh, sorry, not Israel, Taiwan. So uh, except uh, uh, South Korea, the other three are island countries. But uh, uh, South Korea is uh, uh, the peninsula country, but uh, actually it is an island because uh, northern part of Korea is blocked uh, by North Korea. So uh, globally, uh, the island uh, countries uh, could uh, successfully control uh, the virus. And, and but, uh, uh, we, the Korean economy uh, cannot be sustained if we uh, close uh, the national uh, border. Uh, but uh, uh, we, I cannot judge uh, which is better uh, to, to close national board at the time or to continue uh, to uh, open uh, the country as uh, this government uh, did, especially uh, and the uh, with China, and so, but uh, uh, as I reviewed uh, the government policies, 
uh, I notice uh, they uh, have some uh, the misjudgment, and actually, uh, when uh, whenever President Moon uh, announced that uh, Korea uh, controlled the virus, then uh, in a few days, and uh, we have a second wave and third wave. So, uh, because the the uncertainty uh, is very high uh, for the COVID nineteen uh, pandemic, uh, then uh, uh, with the uh, the the past pattern uh, cannot, uh, we cannot extrapolate uh, future pattern uh, during the COVID-19. So only uh, the one affected case uh, can create uh, the cluster of uh, confirmed cases. So uh, uh, that is a, uh, after having uh, some success uh, control experience, the Co Korean government uh, have a, uh, lost a certain opportunities uh, to uh, uh, flatten uh, the curve. Uh, that is, uh, but uh, other things for uh, the procuring uh, the solutions and also encouraging uh, innovation uh, stakeholders, including uh, including government research institutes, universities uh, working uh, with the technology companies to develop diagnostic keys and uh, uh, therapies and, and vaccines uh, that uh, is uh, quite strong. Uh, uh, we can uh, demonstrate uh, toward global society. Okay, uh, any comments? Thank you, um, uh, the both um, the, the, the presentations um, summary. Um, actually, uh, regarding the um, the Lee Jung Kim's um, the the research, I have just the one question, uh, which is about FJ group during the COVID nineteen. So, um, based on the the FJ groups um, the, the the interview, um, did you get any kind of information uh, about the pandemic? Um, uh, the situation could affect that the 13 impediment um, uh, uh, outcomes toward the, the smart city. So today mentioned that, hey, this pandemic may affect that the 13 top uh, priorities uh, regarding the, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, the, the impediments and, and what they, your opinion whether this is decreasing or increasing those the 13 uh, impediments or so, that is my question. Uh, well, thank you for the question. Um, in fact, uh, during, the, during the FGIS, there's no comments about, about the, the uh, effectiveness between small cities and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there are so many studies about about that. Um, but after uh, research and review, I I believe um, actually um, pan pandemic situation affects the advancement of small cities, but. Um, it is not easy to, uh, you know, figure out which one, which cause from some effects or mm -hmm. some effects from causes. So it is not easy. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> cause of the reason why I ask this that the uh, perhaps the uh, this the COVID nineteen experience may lead toward the, the smart city because. The internet connectivity and online activity much more important nowadays. So that's a, just a what I what I do because this is a 13 impediment maybe maybe weakened by this COVID 19. So I just want to know whether those groups could uh, deliver the kind of uh, question. So I I think COVID 19 does not change the concept of a smart city or goals of a smart city or models of a smart city, but smart cities accelerated the smart cities. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, digitalization, something like that. So it is the 
I believe COVID-19 is an important um, momentum to, to, uh, to make people, people to realize and feel what's going on and uh, what's, what's next. I mean, the, the technology or the changes of life, something like that, yeah. So I think the, due to that reason, maybe the next, next study can, can be the kind of thing yeah. how COVID-19 could weaken those 13 impediments you found, uh, right? So I think that would be another good way uh, to continue this work by joining this session, I think. Thank you, anyway. I, uh, in the line of the, the question, I also have a, uh, question in my mind um, in smart city is a really good concept and so we need a uh, forward uh, to making like this kind of a city uh, but before COVID-19 is the concept of a smart city is already established then after COVID-19 in effect everywhere which means uh, COVID-19 uh, give uh, pleiotropic effect. And so that means uh, we need to recalculate the factors of the smart cities. But if you try to like that, you need also consider about, I mean, everybody asking about me about, so COVID-19 is really serious and we need to prepare as I mean, everything's, but Another big question is, I mean, another COVID-19 like uh, pandemic will be occur within 100 years or 20 years. So, I mean, can we prepare or not? So a lot of the, I mean, unclearness will be uh, also we need to consider. So what do you think about uh, uh, an effect uh, we need to recalculate for the uh, real smart city concepts. So what do you think? So. Oh, yeah, that's a really hard. I, I, I think uh, I may uh, uh, intervene uh, at this moment. So it's uh, uh, actually, I'm also uh, uh, consulting uh, Indonesian government uh, on digital twin, and in Thailand, uh, I'm engaged in uh, several smart city solution deployment, like a public security or a smart health care. And uh, also I'm asked to uh, plan and implement uh, various uh, smart city project uh, of uh, Thailand local governments next year. And uh, here uh, is uh, uh, the pandemic uh, has uh, reshuffled or uh, change it uh, the 13 uh, PD months uh, what uh, uh, she uh, 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 present uh, uh, analyzed uh, with the focus group interviews uh, and in the before the pandemic uh, the uh, infrastructure like uh, uh, IOT uh, cannot be deployed uh, in, 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 in the market context because the market affordability is very low. And then uh, the, uh, there is no market and private sectors cannot uh, invest uh, in uh, real uh, infrastructure deployment. And then without having this uh, uh, the specific uh, infrastructure, the, we, those cities cannot have a true digital twin or smart city solutions. So, uh, we can use uh, the, the commercial apps uh, just to order food. And uh, so that, uh, that is uh, the current state uh, status. But as pan uh, pandemics uh, last, then uh, the market uh, naturally grows. Then private sectors begin to invest uh, uh, in the infrastructure because there is a market. And then uh, the government, uh, they think that uh, the smart city is kind of uh, not, uh, before the pandemic is just slogan. But uh, after the pandemic, uh, smart city is not slogan, but uh, it becomes uh, their 
uh, uh, real policy programs uh, for Thailand uh, when uh, they use uh, this mass uh, solution technology uh, for Phuket and uh, the uh, sandbox and without having uh, international tourists coming into uh, in, into Thailand, the Thailand economy cannot be sustained. And then uh, they should deploy the real uh, smart city solutions, services. So, so the uh, infrastructure and private sector and, and government and also the society, the people understand that if they don't have these uh, smart solutions, uh, their uh, income uh, cannot be guaranteed. So I believe uh, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my request uh, for you uh, is that uh, after you uh, elaborated uh, the uh, 13 uh, pediments, then how this pandemic uh, uh, started to change, uh, then uh, moving toward uh, the, uh, the, the real uh, smart city uh, system development in specific uh, context of Korea or uh, some other countries. I think Dr. Kim received another round of the homework from this session, I think, yeah. Uh, Dr. Kim, can you add something? It's okay? Yeah. I think Dr. Lee saved her life. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have the uh, five minutes left. Uh, do you have any more comments or? Or closing remark. <laughs> I think before session, uh, we chat. Uh, it must be takes a lot of time. It must not take a lot of time. So you, we can finish it within one hours. But we already spent uh, almost one and a half hours. So I think that means we really discuss a lot about uh, this really important issues pandemics. So I think. Uh, it's almost time to close. Uh, uh, Dr. Lee, uh, can you give a closing remark? Uh, I think uh, you are right. I say, <laughs> greet, greet, uh, greetings from uh, Bangkok, Thailand. And uh, uh, I have a, uh, I, I came to Bangkok uh, last July and I stayed in uh, two weeks in hotel for self quarantine. And then, and the uh, the Korean and uh, the Thailand situation uh, uh, is better now. Uh, then uh, Thailand is moving toward the normal life, uh, the uh, adopting uh, uh, to adopt uh, the uh, with Corona uh, policy. So I believe uh, what uh, we are discussing uh, on uh, pandemic uh, is, has a good uh, messages. And also, each uh, presenter uh, has uh, its own uh, further research topics, and then uh, this can be uh, incorporated. Uh, as Dr. Yu mentioned, that uh, we will be having uh, uh, um, more and uh, also uh, uh, pervasive uh, pandemics uh, in the in near future. So uh, the researchers uh, can contribute to preparing uh, for uh, the upcoming uh, the challenges together. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for your attendance. Okay, uh, now it's closing the session. Thank you for everybody.